this is one I only seek the path to mature capability, right? Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, then the initial words refer to faith. So we must listen to the Buddha Dharma, which is wondrous and difficult to conceive of. Um, so if you look at it, difficult to conceive, that means we cannot uh, really understand with the mind that we have. So because we cannot understand this, um, we need to have faith. But then the interesting thing is, faith is the merit that allow us to enter the path. So I bold this because I'm just taking from the transcript. Um, the first thing when I read that was, why is faith not a virtue? Why is it a merit? And uh, maybe you all should contemplate on this. Why is faith a merit and not a virtue? So we must be more mindful to deeply cultivate meticulous contemplation. And it's what I just mentioned here as a deeply covered in this contemplation. If you understand this through this contemplation, why is it a merit and not just a virtue? Um, and then this is where one would have to seek answers uh, is to make the contemplation. We must cease evil and practice good deeds with body, speech, and mind. And uh, you, you understand this obviously and yesterday, there were 10 uh, cessation, 10 practices, right? Good deeds. So this following from yesterday. Um, so 10 cessation of one, um, uh, three of the, um, the body, four of the speech, and three of the mind, right? Giving 10 and then arising from that cessation of that, giving the 10 good practices. So faith destroys deviant views and thinking, understanding destroys ignorance and delusion. So there are two parts of this faith and understanding, okay? So we, without faith, we can't have understanding because faith would, without faith would have stopped you from seeking an understanding. So the master's explanation, um, it says that the most important thing is to have is faith. Faith is the merit that allows us to enter the path. Faith destroys different views and thinking. So if faith insists indeed a merit, how they can have the merit to develop the virtues. And that's also another uh, contemplation that you can get into. So when we have attained Dharma joy, we will naturally stop clinging to emptiness and existence uh, because we understood what it is by penetrating true emptiness. When you have penetrated true emptiness, you will then have to understand the truth of existence. If you understand the truth of existence, then you realize the wondrous existence. Is the state of the Buddha, which is steadfast and not influenced by others, not influenced by others because they're not influenced by any condition or phenomenon that arises. So it's in the unconditioned practice. Having finished expounding the Lotus Sutra, Buddha entered the right samadhi of infant remains, his body and mind unmoving and from between his eyebrows, brows, he continued to radiate like this is, has never happened before. So those who understand the um, spiritual practice will also realize that in between the eye bound is called the third eye. And that's where the inner seeing, that's why it radiates light. Um, we, we must cease 10 evils and practice the 10 good deeds, which I just explained earlier. Life is plain to fully short and we must go to this purest inner flesh. So we must cease any moment. We must not think we still have a lot of time. Um, obviously, this flash is actually a moment in the cow path because it's got about three periods of this life that we have. It's, it's one in the context of the cow path, it's less than one nanosecond. And, um, but that is the time that we have in this life. And so, therefore, whatever we do, and it's all choices that we make, it will propel us to our future life. So, the 10 good deeds. Uh, that's mentioned, so no matter how long it takes, we seek the body of her and um, for sending beings. And from that aspiration of form, the power of those forms will not be weakened. Uh, we can, that's the system I just mentioned. So practicing upholding this way, we undergo long cow paths and yet retain the initial aspiration and the capabilities are sharp and mature. And mostly all these uh, developed cultivators and then they will have then faith and understand to take them through to understand 
um, the Dharma and graduating towards uh, the enlightenment. Out of we all listen to, we listen to this sutra, it's all about benefiting people and saving all sentient beings. So in contemplation, it's at 50 now. Okay. Um, not too long today. The foundation and pillar of virtues have taken many lifetimes of um, spiritual growth. Um, the foundation and pillar of virtues have taken many lifetimes of spiritual growth. That means if you, the foundation pillar, um, it's one gives you where you are right now. So in that context, then go back to the initial verse and try to contemplate why then Master say faith is a merit. There will be more lifetimes for these virtues to mature and eventually to fruition. And um, obviously all this arises depending on the cause, causes and condition uh, that will come about. And uh, if you then try to understand the interplay or the interconnectivity between merits and virtues, then you understand how eventually how this will mature and eventually lead to fruition. So brace your heart and mind in the path to ascend in this life to evolve in the virtues that will make your life's spiritual journey efficacious. The, it's like walking up a flight of stairs step have to taken one at a time and um, but then why we are here for in this uh, short moment of time in the kalpa is really to develop the heart and our mind and uh, to evolve so then what is what is evolving means uh, we got to evolve in our consciousness as at the end of the day um, this if this lifetime is so short then how do we can get to ascend in the path in practice in such a short time? And this is where uh, one need to understand by taking this um, practice, uh, taking it to heart to grow into the mind continuum. So nourish your Dharma roots to grow in a path with the budding, blossoming, and fusion of the virtues. So on relationship, manifesting a relationship. Whatever you have done for yourself will be evaporated with your life. And this is our practice is not, must always say practice without expectation, give without expectation. So when a moment you give is evaporated in from you, but whatever has been done for others will be absorbed by others and remain in their lives. So the seeds you planted will germinate when the condition matures, which should refer to my early contemplation. So realize therefore your transient presence, which is very short in the Kaaba, is to touch the lives of others. Okay, kind of brothers and sisters, got plenty of time for, for sister Suchin. Yeah, kind of, kind of so much, Brother Chin. So on the summary. Okay. Uh, can we invite now Sister 